Nat 20. Welcome back to Nat 20. In our previous episode, our adventurers had all made it to the Wizard's Tower, or Wizard's Cabin, to the north of the city of Eit. There, they woke the wizard up from by using the Fruitless Frantellas, which are flowers that are used to help uh, heal from comas and stuff like that. So they woke the wizard up in that way, and got him to cast Wish on Blaze, in order to turn him back into his tabaxi form. With that being done, Blaze does have one new flaw, which is that every once, if he looks, and if he sees his reflection, there's a chance he'll see himself as the Epistle Wretch again. And basically, that's exactly where we left off. PTSD. The wizard was just feeling really faint after casting the spell, and then Blaze had just transformed back into a tabaxi. Woo, we missed Blaze so much. (laughs) Uh, I was never gone, I was still there the whole time, you idiot. (laughs) Yeah, you were better as the Abyssal Wretch. So, what would everyone like to do right now? You you have just entered the main room where the rest of your fellow adventurers were sitting and just waiting, and the wizard is still in his bedroom, type area with his apprentice who is just watching over him making sure that he doesn't fall down and die or break a hip or something like that because he's a real frail old dude did he so you said he went to sleep uh no he's he's feeling faint (laughs) so basically he left us alone though right unguarded yeah i mean it's, (laughs) it's the room right next to his so most likely the apprentice or him will hear anything Right, I wasn't actually so, going to do uh, pass without trace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take everything he has. <laughs> no, this man saved my life. Sort mm. of. No case. I'm going to play Ouch. a nice soothing tune on my hand-carved flute. Okay. Is nothing broken? <laughs> no. So many paintings. You want to... If you want, you can roll performance to see how nice of a tune it is. You don't need to. What if I don't roll? Then it's, it's just an all right song, nothing special, nothing too terrible about it. Don't you want to be good, Zach? You Make a death saving throw. What if I don't want to? <laughs> you gotta aim for the top. And I think I overachieved. I got an 18. 18? Yeah, so you guys hear uh, Lazarus playing on his flute, a really serene song, and all of the notes seem to be perfectly pitched and cut off at the perfect moment before the next note and it is a very nice tune to listen to yeah, it's kind of calming it's hot cross buns <laughs> what a show I, off. I walk into the room and i'm like like digging a finger in my ear and i'm like oh i'm sorry i can't really hear anything right now uh wish was really fuck with me did you say something i'll just come to you playing ignoring him okay <laughs> that's what zach's characters do they ignore mine <laughs> You're not supposed to talk to the musician. Unless you got a VIP backstage pass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justin Bieber. So shortly after you enter the room, the wizard enters the room as well, leaning heavily on the assist on his assistant who's right beside him. Man, this guy sucks. So weak <laughs> so weak. You guys should get a cane. Man, this guy needs to step his game up. Okay, right. he woke up from a coma <laughs> like an hour ago. And just cast the most powerful spell in the D and D universe, dude. So yeah, weak. sounds like a, a weak move, bro. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, that guy, what the dude? Just seriously though. <laughs> seriously, man, get it together. <laughs> anyway, let's ask him to cast it again, <laughs> so <we> can, <laughs> yeah, so we can get to heal. Um, uh, is that our plan? Get so heal. feel so anticlimactic. I just like. Guys, it's me. I'm, I'm back. Literally, no everyone, it's, it's me. I'm back, dude. No one cares. It's me, Blaze. I'm I'm a tabaxi again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'll turn to the wizard and I'll, and I'll like gently like clasp his hand like you do with like old people yeah. when they're being super friendly, <laughs> and you just, I just like shake it. I'm like, thank you so much. You don't understand what this means to me. I was a, f- I was a fucking. I don't know what it was, man. You were an abyssal wretch. No, I knew what I was. I just, 
I can't do this. I couldn't deal with it. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> I'm glad I could help out. Yeah, now it's just not abyssal anymore. <laughs> oh, it's savage as fuck, actually. <laughs> that, really, that really hurt my feelings. Is there anything else uh, any of you would like that I may be able to help with? Do you have a bathroom? <laughs> I need a mirror so I can admire my <laughs> reflection. Um, I'm beautiful again. I guess there would be, like, a room with, like... Toiletries? I guess. Like, with a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, toilet. Not a toilet, but, like, old bath... Like, chamber pot. Yeah, chamber pot. There'd be a room with a chamber pot and, like, a waff space and stuff like that. I just imagine, like, this I guess there would be a mirror. beautiful room, you know, f- flower vases, a, a window has, like, curtains on it, the beautiful sunlight coming through, and then just a chamber pot <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Whatever you need to use it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm gonna rush there. Okay. And I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see how, how well it worked. Do I look normal? Do uh, I look myself roll, uh, D20. A D20? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of it. Uh, I don't... What is that? Should I re-roll just that? Just re-roll. Yeah. Okay. Mm, six. You see your image as an abyssal wretch still. Ah! <laughs> 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 and I rush back out like, you said you'd fix to me! I have... Just... <sighs> I start playing suspense Your music. mind is... <laughs> <laughs> your mind is playing tricks on you. You saw what you've been seeing and what you're terrified of seeing. It's not what you actually are. Oh... How long is that gonna last for? Do you know? I mean, it could be forever. The fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, bro? Bro. 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 <laughs> Dude, that's apparently a racist word now. What? Bro. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I got it online. Bro. That's but wild. That's not, that's not canon in our campaign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Racism is not canon. <laughs> <laughs> That we did it, boys. We saw it. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Okay, so we're at the wizard's house right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're at the wizard's house, yeah. Uh, we don't know his name. Wizard uh, in the house. His name... I do have his name. Uh, his name is... Faramir. No. No, that's her and his wild magic. <laughs> Just has a bunch of random stuff on this. <laughs> Devil's name started with an S. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of numbers. So where are we right now on this map? We're up here. We're up here? Yeah. Okay. We're above heights, right? Yeah. Like around yeah, here. Yeah, around here probably. Yeah, yeah. we gotta get here. Yeah. Okay. And so that, it's mountains up there. So that wizard can just, you know, send us on a first class flight down there. That'd be great. Umder. Is that it? Yeah, it's umter. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Umter? Um, umder. U M B D E R. U M B B D R? U M B D E R. U M B D R. So, uh, what's the, what's the plan now? We have to go to Yule, right? Well, that's where Artemis is heading. Yeah, that's our next step. He's still over there. Uh, uh I roll an inside check, please. I close my eyes and I just. <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for napping. Because uh, I know he's sleep standing up. Check, Insight, dude. Yeah. Good thing I have a uh, zero for that. All right, new die. Don't fail me. Now. Oh, so he no! sense exactly where he is at, and right you, you know he is sailing west of Eol. He was in Eol a couple of days ago, uh, and uh, he's uh, sailing west. Do you think he's around a day out of Eol by sea? Okay. Uh, yeah, if he's going west, so then he's, he's, he's between a- Clouth. Like Cloud? Cloud? Yeah, and Yule. Okay. It's upside down. So I, I like close my eyes for a bit and I just like kind of like uh fade out a little. Like I just like go silent. Yeah. And all of a sudden I like open my eyes and kind of like jolt and I'm like uh I sensed him. He uh is west of Eel. I think he's headed uh to Clouth. To Clouth? I like, didn't know that. So little, did he yeah. skip over Eel? Nice. Solid. Good for them. <laughs> You sent him in Eel for about a day before. No, I think he definitely made a pit stop there. Oh, you're just picking up some, you know, some some gas. That's all. 
That Filling up his tank, getting some food probably. He goes you... fine. That's all you need to know. What is gas? <laughs> yeah, peace <laughs> rolling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, this game sucks. <laughs> 16. You're fine. Plus 4, so 20. You're fine. You'll never catch me. <laughs> The one time I'm I literally said. Leonardo DiCaprio from this is out of character. I'm literally Leonardo DiCaprio from Catch Me If You Can. Uh, so and Dell, so your what was that? Was that how you? What was that little thing in there? You kind of went out of existence. It's called you meditation. Know? Is that what it was? Was it meditation? Uh, I just have a sixth sense when it comes to Artemis. Since I'm a revenant. Six cents. Um, I forget what it's actually called. Uh, um, six cents. <laughs> I see <laughs> dead people. <laughs> uh, vengeful tracker. That's what it's called. So did you put like a... Does that mean there's a beacon on him? Or something? Did you place a tracker maybe? No, ever since uh, Artemis killed me before, I've had this kind of connection. And I can kind of sense where he's at. As if you're out for revenge from when he killed you. Yes. I'm vengefully tracking him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, it's not going to at all interfere with our duties, is it? I know it's to kill him, but I mean, sometimes we will have to um, go off track from time to time. Listen, you you're little... You got to look at the bigger picture. Well... Listen here, you're a little young to understand, but... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> but sometimes we have to do stuff for the greater good. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's good to know. I mean, I feel you like... know where he is. Killing Artemis is... Uh, by the way, I'm a tabaxi again. Don't freak out. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, killing Artemis should be our next stop, right? I mean... Well, I... Yes, but, I mean, from what we saw hey. the last time when he went in to fight him, we didn't, he didn't really stand Oh, I gotta plan this I mean, time. my thought process is if we kill Artemis, he no longer revenant and he goes away. Problem solved. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just kidding. If I'm going down, you're going with me. <laughs> That's fine. But we have to... Love this teamwork and synergy we got going on. What I mean is we have to look at the bigger picture. I mean, Artemis has a lot of power, a lot of men under his title. Yeah, and I got a bunch of marbles. Listen, we it's have just... To take them down. It's we just like... find his outpost. Just like the king and Stillsby. I'll just sneak in there, there real quick, the pull him out real quick. Close by. We have to destroy what he has. Yeah, we have to leave him with nothing before we can take him down. If we go at him now, he's going to have all this back and backing up power and resources. He has quite an advantage over us, I think. Listen, kid, no, this playing. isn't a board game, all right? <laughs> we'll be fine. All right. all right. I mean, we don't really have a lot else going on right now. It's just something. Well, the only mind. thing was the dragon and that he was gone. Well, at the very least, I mean, are we going into the depths or are we going to go check on Eol first? Because well, we kind of left you... them to the fishes there. We should go check on Eol. I mean, we gotta see what kind of damage has been done there. Maybe he's the only problem upgraded. is if we go to Yo, where's the nearest entrance to the depths from there? Right? I mean, you want to go to the depths first. We do have. Do I still have that rock? I think that I brings have me one. down to the depths. Uh, yeah, that only takes you to one certain section of the depths. Well, I mean, at any point, I can just I'll pull up there and we'll pull up the rock. We, uh, you know, I just press this nice little rock here, give it a squeeze. And we go back down to the depths. Do we go back? Where do we go? Do we go back to like that cesspool of damage and dead bodies we left in the prison? Would I know that information? Uh, you could roll an insight check. Okay. Ooh. Exciting. Oh. <laughs> There's a four. You're not entirely sure. I have no, I have no clue. Um, I just know it'll take us down there. I don't know if it'll be the same location or random spot. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Maybe we should uh, go to Yol. The wizard will say there are two entrances somewhat nearby to the depths. From here or Yol? Near here. Do you have a map? I do, and he pulls a map off the wall. It looks exactly like that map. Okay. And he'll just point to the map, mark it on the map. And he'll say that there's one to the northwest of here. Okay, tell me where to put the uh, X. Here, I'll, I'll just draw the X. Around here, 
And there's one around here. All right, so the so there is one. One of them is at the northwest of here. It's in it's deep in the coldest mountain ranges. Sounds not fun. Top, I love atop mountains. one of the largest mountains in Tothania. I can get us through. And <laughs> there's another entrance to the south can, my west of Ike. My favorite train is mountains. Um, it's about the third or fourth mountain in past the road and it would probably be around five hours south and then probably three hours hiking from there of from Eich. I mean we uh we're going to Eol though so I mean like do you know of any entrance near Eol possibly I don't well then, why don't Those we just? Those are the only two well, entrances I know about. Bro, this depth. guy's so useless. Do you perhaps have some magic though that could maybe um, <laughs> sense any entrances in that area? I mean, you are a great wizard, supposedly. I mean, he's looking pretty under the weather right now. You should feel or better. <laughs> under the weather right now. I mean, do we have any healing exactly. spells to make him feel better? I don't. I could probably mend you. I mean, uh, so for wish it. It doesn't really help to be healed after you cast it, just because there are certain aspects of it, I think. Because it mostly just takes time in order to heal from after you cast it. Because there's stuff like you go down to, like, two strength until you l take, like, five long, two long rests or something. So... Well, let's just take a quick few naps and then, you know, <laughs> wish us all down to you and then we'll be there. Easy, okay, easy. so Umder, yeah. um, or Master Wizard Umder, yes. do you have any sort of maybe then uh, teleportation magic that could get us there quicker? Because uh, if we travel, that uh, everything's gonna blow up before we get there, probably. <laughs> I, he just said he needs rest. Yeah, though. I need rest before can you I can teach cast me something. Anything. Maybe a temporary uh, one-time spell. Do you have any cool scrolls? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a scroll, maybe, or something? Something I could. I I know how to cast a little bit of magic. If you could just yeah. help me harness a certain amount of it to get us there, I could do it, probably. I, I unfortunately do not have any transportation-type spell scrolls, just because any time I've needed to transport myself, I've just casted myself. So you're really going to make us travel <laughs> all the way there. The heroes of this land, the people that are to save this Calm place. Calm down! Calm down, Farron. to Baron. watch it all burn. Farron, it's okay. It's okay. Uh... How long would you need to rest? Should you should we stay here or should we start a heading out? What would be faster? You That's think? That's a good question. Uh, I just have to like do wishes. I mean, that is what humanity does. It burns while nature thrives. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. That's a good That's a good one. And I'm going to pretend to write that down. All right. <laughs> Did we meet someone by the name of Alan? Alan. King Alan. Alan. Oh wait, no, that, that that's Steve. That's Steve. Steve. Who <laughs> was? There was a person named Alan. Okay, because I wrote it down, but I didn't write anything else. I just wrote Alan, and I'm like, I don't know. I know Allie was the person who gave you a ride to and from Avranches. Yeah, she was her uh, captain. All right, I don't know. I won't worry about. There it. was a King Alan. There was an Allie Allen Way. Yeah, that was the ship person. Yeah, I don't have a Alan in my notes. Al Caro. I will need at least a day before I can cast anything. Well, that's perfect. We should just stay here. Let him rest for a day. its I know it's a lot, and we're in a bit of a rush, but I mean, if we just wait here for a day and then teleport there, that's much faster than leaving now, traveling for like weeks. Well, hold on. We don't actually know if he has any magic like that. He just do said you he have? did. I do have transportation. Sorry, magic. I don't listen sometimes. So, uh, can you transport one, two, three, four, five, six people at once? Yes. Perfect. We should How just about wait. A dragon. <laughs> what about the dragon? What? How about a dragon? Can you transport a dragon? That is something I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> but is it doable? Why? No, stop. We're not even thinking of that. We left that dragon behind. We're not. No, we're not well, fighting the dragon. Have a good idea, if, I think. if the dragon was here, I might do we, be able to. Do we know what color this dragon is? Maybe we can talk to it. It's a black dragon. Fazimir told us it was a black oh, dragon. Never mind. Let's kill it. <laughs> I really don't think we sh We have a very important mission. L the world is at stake here. That's I was going to try and get the dragon on our side. That won't work. 
<laughs> I actually also thought of that for a while, but now that I'm really thinking about it, no. I'm pretty good at influencing people's minds to join our side. Just saying. You're going to trauma dragon for approximately an hour, and then... <laughs> I could give it a little oomph, make it last a little longer. <laughs> How long, exactly? Mm. Two hours? <laughs> Two hours. Is that enough time for a quick flight plan? Can we charter a quick flight plan down the old with this black dragon? Oh, and then the charm effect ends, and he just burns the old to the ground because he's upset. Great plan. Vetoed. <laughs> Vetoed. It's not the most solid. Um, we have a good plan. We wait one day. He can teleport us to Eol. We then squeeze said rock after checking on Eol. Go to depths. Explore depths. Find Shardana. Kill Shardana. Kill Artemis. Get rid of the Revenant. Live a happy life. A, B, C, D. He has this one more. Uh, you have this more set. Yeah, I've got it figured out here, guys. All right. Well, I, you know, I'll... I'll go with you, Blaze. I'll, I'll up join you on your Thank on you. your plan. Thank you. The old no dragons. The old Blaze and uh, Baron show. Yeah. Too bad you still look like an abyssal wretch. Fuck you. That was only in the mirror. <laughs> you don't understand how it affects me. <laughs> yeah, you're not as ugly anymore, but that, which is good. Um, <laughs> it's not as harsh to look at. You're young, so I'll forgive that backhanded compliment. <laughs> The youth are our future. <laughs> we really are. Now, how do you know that this Umder didn't just cast an illusion on you? <laughs> I mean... We can always stab I him I cast a wish. <laughs> <laughs> can I inside It's him? not an illusion. It's... Inside check. <laughs> inside check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 14. He's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. <laughs> Damn it. You need to beat a five. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That one is so hard to fail. All right, well, I get in bed then and get resting because we don't have time to leave. <laughs> I'll make you some soup. I guess he'll make you soup. Um, I turn to the assistant. Do you have ingredients for soup? I do. I, I'm making soup. Okay, sure. I will no. now. I will now. Just, just let's go into the Yo, kitchen. What soup? No. Fuck no, you. Right. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I'm you, you reach in. You reach I'm in. kidding. Uh, soup's not canon. <laughs> I'll make soup. I don't fucking care. Um, can I make soup? Yeah. Nice. Um, there's a bunch of different vegetables that are grown, that you assume are gro grown at least somewhere nearby. Maybe even from the garden that they have in front of the cabin. And then there's... Some kind of meat, which you assume is probably deer meat. And you find all the other ingredients you may need. Um, this kind of has like a spice, do they? That makes everything taste good. I don't know it's if you, not... I don't think you guys actually bought that. Oh, we didn't buy that? No. Okay, that's fine. I'll just uh, double check that. I'll just prepare a soup, though. What do I roll? Okay. Uh, just <laughs> performance. Performance. No, roll for soup, dude. <laughs> Oof. So that's an 11 plus 3, 14. 14. Yeah, you make a pretty decent soup. Adequate. It's just tomato soup. I made uh, some, some grilled cheese. I buttered only one side of the bread because if you butter both sides of the bread, it's way too greasy. Uh, so yeah, and I put a little bit of basil on top just for show. And I bring it in like a sterling soup tray. It probably doesn't have yeah. that. I just bring it in. <laughs> yeah. you, you definitely got to butter both sides, dude. No, if you butter both sides, it's way too greasy. What's basil? Oh my <laughs> fucking Christ. Let it go! <laughs> um, Farron's just going to walk outside and just lean against the, the home and okay. start reading his Linguists 101. Okay. And you do know that back when you were in Haria, and when you're told about this wizard, you, back then you had asked if the wizard might know anything about your deal or your problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold on to that information for now. I'll let him rest. Okay. So you're just going outside? Yeah, I'm just going to go outside, lead against the home. Okay. Uh, you know, enjoy the nice cold air. Okay. And uh, read my Linguist 101 to try and further improve my speech. Okay. I'm going to chill inside, uh, maybe just write my notebook, and uh, I'm going to start drinking one of my rums. Okay. And then be like that. So... 
I'm going to take a bowl of soup, and I'm going to head outside to commune with nature. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to talk to Aylor and Del. Don't. But, uh, yeah, after I drop all my soup, I will approach Aylor and Del. Uh, we're alone, or? Uh, well, I, like, I'm inside, like, on the, like, a couch or whatever, like, whatever seating is there. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm just you're, showing in the lazy boy. You're uh, in the main room you guys were in before. The wizard is in his study, which you, which was where he transformed you. And he's just kind of sitting down, sipping his soup, having a grilled cheese, just relaxing and just trying to get back to health. Ryan and Ruman, where would they be? Uh, Probably probably chilling outside. Too. Yeah, probably chilling outside, not talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, about their actual <laughs> history. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to go up to Aylerndale and be like, Hey, um, Aylerndale, uh, this is really hard for me to do. Uh, I'm not really used to this, but... I have to apologize. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Uh, I, uh, growing up, my parents and my family, they didn't really respect me or my the things I wanted to do in life. And I learned young that I had to think of myself first before anyone. And then I just took that to the extreme as I grew older. I'm not used to working with like people or friends. My only other friend is a mute. <laughs> so... I, uh, I just want to apologize. I put myself ahead of your needs, and I feel bad now that it's all said and done, and I know that you is important to you, and I just wanted to apologize, and I want you to know that I'm with you 100%, so. 100%. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Aylor and Dale. That was heartfelt, bro. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I should take it seriously or not. Um, you should. Take it seriously. Uh, Fucker. <laughs> It's all right. I, uh, I understand where you're coming from. I'm just, uh, I just want to stop Artemis before he, uh, destroys everything and everyone. But at least you'll, uh, be stronger now that you're not an abyssal wretch anymore. So. I think we can do it, man. I mean, I don't think we should jump in there guns blazing with the marbles. I actually do kind of agree with Farron, despite being a 70-year-old kid who has no experience or knowledge. Uh, shots fired. Uh, no, trust me, I got a plan. You have, what's your plan? Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I'm do, not going to lie. Uh, do you want to tell me? <clears throat> not yet. When the time is right. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm with you, man. You and me, dude. We're going to do this. All the way, baby. I, uh, I pound back another, uh, or, like, some of my ale, and I, like, I gestured to Blaze if you want some. Sure, I, I'll have some, yeah. You're, you're mixing ale and drum? Oh, sorry, yeah. no, I meant oh, my rum. That, I don't that's not a good ale. idea. I don't have ale. I only have the rum, so that's okay, what I Okay, okay. All right, sorry, cool. I'll drink apologies. with, uh, with Aaron, though. Yeah, that's how I'll spend my evening. Okay. I know not to mix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an experienced revenant. <laughs> Uh, so you guys do your own things for the next couple hours, and then uh, Ella, Ella, who is the assistant, is going to make some supper for... Is it a girl? Yeah. I thought it was a guy last no. time. No. No. Oh, sick. Yeah, she's a female halfling. Okay, cool. So she just, like, starts cooking up a supper just to... So all of you can eat, if, since you'll be staying here, and she's... She just makes a better soup. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze isn't gonna eat and doesn't care. He's not an experienced cook. It won't hurt his feelings. It'll hurt my feelings, not his. Yeah. <laughs> so if he's just making a supper of some kind of meat, which you assume is might be the same deer that you cooked the soup with. And then I made tomato soup. Oh you made tomato soup, yeah, that's <laughs> right. So the Tomato soup with chunks of deer. <laughs> so there's she just makes a simple supper of like uh some deer meat, potatoes, and just vegetables that are grown from the garden and just allows you guys to have some and then she makes some room in one of the spare bed spare rooms for Avi to sleep in you guys would have to sleep on the floor and stuff like that but there are blankets and stuff nice oh uh, yeah i guess i'm gonna turn in for the night then okay feeling a little stressed out after looking at my horrible face in the mirror <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'll turn in and I will... Ooh, I would like to play with my gun. <laughs> That's okay. okay. I'm just gonna try and figure it out again. 
Okay. Gonna spend a night with it, getting used to it. Okay. Uh, is there anything else anyone else specifically wants to do during mm-hmm. their time? time in the wizard's home um no like i might i might like uh just like take a long rest okay uh, if we have the time yeah, yeah i'll have the time because yeah. the wizard needs to take a long rest okay i'll, I'll take a, i'll take out my bed roll I'll, I'll lay it where i was in outside of the house it was just along the door and um uh yeah i'll pull my bear pelt over to warm my shoulders and my head but i'll let the uh, bed will cover the rest, and I'll go to sleep. Okay. I'm gonna try try and find a nice sturdy tree, and I'm gonna sleep in that. There aren't really any trees because yeah, okay, this is a, this is like a mountain, <laughs> and you're just in a, a small. Uh, you find shrubbery place where the, the grade like just wasn't steep and started to uh, go flat. So there aren't really any trees on this mountain. Plus, it's a pretty high up mountain, and it's like uh, not a lot of vegetation grows here, except for what they have in the garden. Uh, I guess there's not much to explore, so I'll just I'll head back to the house and turn in. Okay. Okay, so you guys sleep for the night, have a long rest, and. You wake up in the morning and you smell a delicious scent of bacon, well, some kind of bacon and uh, eggs. And when you go into the kitchen, you see there are a bunch of other fruits and vegetables and stuff like that that Ella has prepared for breakfast. Uh, I will just pack up my bedroll and uh, I'll head inside the house to warm up. Okay. Um, I'll have a seat at the... Assuming there's like a dining table. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have a seat there. Uh, is the food already laid out on the table? Yeah. Okay. I'll just take some pieces of bacon and slide it through my mouth slit on okay. my mask. <laughs> chew on it. It's like a parking ticket going through the meter. Just, <laughs> 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 just like that, yes. Okay. And I'll, I'll continue reading my linguist book. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, I guess... If we had a long rest, do I have to roll for my... Lenses? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oof. Uh, just roll a... Because I believe I only know uh, common and elvish, because that was a growl yeah. before. Um, so... You didn't know any other languages for any I, backgrounds or anything? I don't think so. What's your background? I don't know. I didn't write it down. So I don't know. It's an important feature, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Feel you free to pick one. <laughs> I don't recall. Um, Probably soldier, right? I think so. Well, you were a soldier. Yeah, that makes sense. You were a soldier. Yeah, that's what you were. Well, you would also know. Don't tell me what I am. That's what you were. Yeah, it changes nothing about your languages. And then you said you were a drow. Yeah. A drow. You would have known. It's twenty-four. Page twenty-four. Yeah, you don't know any extra languages. Yeah. Just normal elf languages, which are... Read, write, common, and elvish. elvish. Yeah. yeah, that's all you know is common and elvish. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so just roll a d8 for me, please. A d8? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's an exciting die. Oh, I never get to use a d8. All right. Don't fail me now, boys. That's a five. Five. So, you know... Um... You got five? Sweet, thank you. Yes. You don't know Mish. No Mish? <laughs> no Mish, yeah. No Mish, dude. Um, is it just like. Bro. Uh, it doesn't get rid of anything else, I just know it, right? Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, you don't know Elvish, though. No, so I forget Elvish? Yeah. Bro. Wait, no, 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 you forget Elvish? Bro, no way. <laughs> you still know Common, though, Dude. right? Well, yeah, I yeah. hope so. That'd be yeah. fucking real shitty to do. <laughs> I wake up again, I understand anyone. <laughs> What's um, happening? Oh, my God. So I guess, uh, do I feel anything kind of when I wake up? Uh, when you wake up, you... Uh, if... May... If you had, like, any rituals that had to do with Elvish, like, maybe you think in Elvish as your main language or something like that, or yeah. maybe you keep in, in mind to try to make sure you always know Elvish and not to forget it. Yeah. To say bilingual. So if any of, if you did any of that, then you'd realize that you 100% have no idea how to speak any word of Elvish. 
Oh my god. Um, so I guess, I guess what will happen, like, I only need a few hours of rest, so I guess yep. after my long rest, I'd be up a little bit sooner, and I guess all I probably would do is look at my, my hand, like, my, uh, journal or my book. Uh, I'm utterly confused. <laughs> see, because it's probably a mix between the yeah, two. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'm going to look at it and then just be so confused uh, <laughs> why I can't understand it. You can roll an insight check if you like. I would love to, because I would love to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, oh, that's a 19, dude. You believe this may have to do with your time in Fogmere. Damn. Um, it may be similar to why Zack, where Lazarus has a dark glow around him. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, and like, like, what, would I know that I know Gnomish, or would I just eventually figure it out? Oh, uh, you could draw one more insight check. Okay, because I would like to, I'm just like trying to figure out what's going on. Dude, that's also another 19! So, I'm assuming at one point you might have written after figuring this out, you might have written something in your journal or uh, your notes or whatever. Yeah. And at one point, you just end up starting to write it in gnomish, like subconsciously, just the way you would normally switch between yeah. elvish and common. Uh, and you just notice, like a minute later, that what you wrote was in gnomish. Damn. Um, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of annoys me. Um, especially since it's gnomish. Like, what a fucking... <laughs> anyway, um... Alright, well, I guess I, I'll put... M I guess I'll just wait until, like, the morning when everyone gets up and then breakfast, but I tell no one. Okay. <laughs> That's something I'm gonna keep to myself. I'm gonna head down at the scent of bacon and be like, Woo! I'm super hungover! I haven't drank like that in a long time! God. Oh, boy. Ooh-wee mama. Yep, and I'm just gonna sit down and I'm just gonna <laughs> just like pile up a, like a large amount of bacon. That's it. No, nothing else. Just bacon. Okay. And I'm just gonna munch on that and uh, pull out my gun. I'm just gonna set it down on the table. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tinker with it. How much bacon do you put on your plate? Do you put all of it? Just a large portion for one person. I Not take the of rest it. of the bacon, <laughs> <laughs> whatever's left over, and I just pull it towards me. Uh, Keep. Uh, you uh, need to share your bacon. <laughs> You just took all of it. <laughs> you took the rest. I did not. No, you, you took, took the rest. It's a heaping pile, and I take the rest. It's, it's like only six fair. pieces. Mm -hmm. Six pieces. That's more than enough for one person. I mean, just enough for one person. <laughs> after a, little, after a little bit, the wizard comes out of his study where he was sleeping. How are you feeling? He says, I am feeling well. This That rest really helped me a lot. Is that bacon? And then he sees there's no bacon on the table. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Mace him, has heaping I, amounts of it. <laughs> I put a piece in my mouth and then I hand another piece to the wizard. I'm like, here you go, Umder. Right? Umder? Yeah, Umder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the least I can do. I mean, you, I'm forever indebted to you. Have right, another piece. You. Have another. Oh god. And I start crying. Oh, I'm just take it all. Thank you. Uh it, it's all right. It's all right. Blaze was your name? Blaze, it's it's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's, down. It's, it's all right. Sorry. It's all right. Um, I'm very emotional. I'm gonna go and sit the at the table. Um I'm gonna like give myself a portion even though I don't require to eat, yeah. but i I feel like it'd be rude if I don't. Okay. So I just take like a small amount. Uh, the wizard will then sit down to you and will grab some eggs and whatever bacon you gave him and some fruit and stuff and start chowing down because he, he was feeling a lot better today, but he still is like frail and kind of weak. Does he pull out his dentures? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, straight to the point, I guess. Do you feel like you could zap us somewhere? <laughs> I think I I think I could. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Once good. I'm done eating, I can. I should of course, be able to of do course. it. I mean, you need at least some food to yes. cast spells. Yes. I want to do it on an empty stomach. Doesn't feel good. You know yourself. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. Um, at least he thinks he does. So why is it you're going to you're wanting to go to Eel? We're gonna try to stop uh, Artemis. I don't know if you've heard of him. I have not. He's a big bad guy. He's a, <laughs> he's a big wiener head. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If, I don't know how to describe Artemis. He's just like uh, we're 
trying to stave off an attack from an invading uh, species of... I don't really know what species, but uh, we know they originate from the depths. And they use very powerful teleportation magic. Well, we think they're from the depths. They're yeah. cold short. Well, you never told us where they're from. So yeah. We just assume okay. it's the depths. Yeah. And Artemis is, is, uh, is uh, the leader of the bunch. Big blue guy. The short With a guy. dragon on his shoulder. Yes, red dragon. A little a mini dragon, though. Very small. Very he small. also killed me. Which is why our friend yeah, is so... I, I noticed you were a revenant. I was wondering about that. Oh, you're smart. Well, it's very polite you didn't ask. It'd be, it would have been very rude to ask, so you could call. Yeah, no one talks about it. <laughs> I'm also a knight. <laughs> yeah, one could say I'm. he's the... Nope, not doing it. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, not doing it. No. So, how long have you been a wizard for? I thought you say, how long have you been old for? Because <laughs> <laughs> me, I've only been young for a few days. I mean, <laughs> uh, Pretty much all my life. Um, I grew up just shortly after, oh, no, I grew up during, no, <laughs> I grew up a little bit before oh, the Zyber, Zyber. war against you. <laughs> <laughs> it gets, yeah. It gets That's, them every time. Is that a I don't, I wouldn't cannon? know, I can't remember. <laughs> Did you see that in character? Yes. <laughs> yeah, please roll it in oh my god, <laughs> Alzheimer's is a legitimate disease. Yeah, but come on. They, but they have 13 15. plus 1. You're fine. 15. Of course I'm fine. You need to beat 13. <laughs> um, I grew up shortly before the war against humans, and pretty much when that started, I started training as a wizard and learned more and more to try to be able to fight against evil and try to do the best I can for humanity. So are you saying more of a aggressive wizard? You like to cast the, the injuring spells? <laughs> uh, that is a that is another time in my life. Back in my day, I used to fuck people up with fucking yeah, spells. Do you have a lot of books in here? Yeah, he has comes. PTSD from like, lighting people on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? Suddenly his eyes go wide and we <laughs> zoom into the pupils and then all of a sudden we see his imagery in his head and it's just and like dying, that? like people dying left and right. And you ah! hear that one song, I forget what it's called, but it's like, Burning! It's Yennefer at the Battle of Sodden Hill. <laughs> 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 fucking crying blood. You love it. <laughs> anyway. So um, as you're saying... You guys are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a good bit. Yeah. It was a good bit. Um, <laughs> Did it for the views. <laughs> so, uh, through your all your knowledge, I see of with from all the books around. Do you have you ever dealt in say darker magics like uh, from the uh, from uh, fiends or? I've never devil type people dealt with dark magic myself. I know a lot about it though. Oh, I've do. studied it. Four years. Okay, once these two or these chumps are done, you and I are going to have a little private talk. Okay. <laughs> In private. And I'll continue reading my book. And you said that, you said some, you guys said something about the depths too. Yeah, we have to go to the depths. Because yeah. that's where Artemis has been keeping all his prisoners. Oh, okay. We actually raided and saved a bunch Pr from prisoners? the prisoners. Yeah, he's been going around kidnapping people from city to city. Like, how many? The entire city. I told you, he's using very powerful teleportation magic. He approaches without warning. They have no way of, like, knowing he's coming. Uh, he attacks, usually, and then he leads them all through these giant portals into the depths, and then he holds them prisoner in uh, prison camps where they're mining. We just recently raided one and uh, released the prisoners near Herea. His eyes get a bit wide at that and says under his breath, It's happening. Well, that was pretty suspicious. Uh, what's happening? What's happening? We're kicking ass. So, what's what's up, dog? <laughs> so Is about... Bugs Bunny cannon now? Or? Did, wait, did he say that? No, <laughs> he, he said it in his voice. Was it, was it a joke? Let it go. Let it go. Okay, whatever. Say it in okay. your voice then. I, I missed if it was in Arundel's voice or yours, so that's your just, one. Just don't listen voice. back to it. That's your freebie, bitch. <laughs> uh, the, the wizard says... About four years ago, a wizard friend of mine and his wife, I guess, too, um, felt a disturbance, something that some evil or compounding 
terror was soon to be coming from the depths. So they went to investigate. They went to the entrance that is to the southwest of Ike. And I've never heard from him since. He was like almost as powerful as me. Both of them were. And yeah, so this that could be what he saw or saw coming. The Shardana or whatever they're using the prisoners for. You said you were in the depths and freed some prisoners? Yes, uh, uh what were what what were the prisoners doing? Like were they kept in where they were kept reason? in a prison camp digging in a giant pit. I'm assuming mining for valuables. Mining for diamonds. Okay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do they hit that rock? They need that diamond armor, bro. <laughs> Gives me a lot to think about. Huh. Um <laughs> Okay, uh, if we, you're in the depths and we find your friend, we'll let him know you're worried. Yes, that'd be great if you do. Uh, Logically speaking, though, four years, most likely dead. Honestly, <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing, just because I've had no contact with them since. Wait, haven't we run into that guy before? We ran into no, we no, ran into, into Alcaro. Oh, okay. He was like a, he wasn't a wizard, so. These, they're the names of the two who went there, Valkron. And Eladir. Oh, uh, Velcron and Eladir? Yeah. Dude, why does he just wish them back? <laughs> uh, can you spell those? Yeah, V A L C R O N. And Eladri- Eladir is E L A D E R E. D E R E. Eladir. And you said they went to the depths four years ago, sensing a disturbance? Yes. If we see them, we'll we'll, we'll help them as best we can, then. It's a repayment for your favors. Great. I was actually wondering, I wanted to pick your brain, how did you uh, become a wizard? I've just been studying all my life. Like what I said earlier, when the war against humans happened, that kind of made me feel like I should be doing something about it. So I learned magic in order to myself fight in the war and then to try to save off any other evil that occurred after that. And to, to, to try to do what I, what I can do to help society through magic. Is it possible to be a self-taught uh, wizard? It is. It takes a lot of Learning and education and a lot of keeping at it. Sounds amazing. No. I mean, I just wake up and bippity bop. I can zap things in a blast. But oh, yeah, you're, there's no flaws sorcerer? or drawbacks. <laughs> what? You're a sorcerer, I assume. What's a sorcerer? So you just have magic and... It occurs. Yeah. You didn't need uh, to learn anything. No, no, I never did any studying <laughs> at all. <laughs> Not like you do. <laughs> what a cool kid! <laughs> I love how um, yeah, your sorcerer ability is so cool. No drawbacks or anything at all, eh? I just tend from time to time when the situation approaches itself, I seem to be able to cast uh, magic spells to help me. Anyways. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you that's turned a into a seventy-year-old kid once. Yeah, that was a weird thing. Was that I... intentional? No, <laughs> I cast a spell and suddenly I was younger. I feel uh. good, but <laughs> I don't. I I feel. Uh, I don't feel. I don't. You know. Yeah. That is wild magic, which means any time you cast any magic, there's the chance that some kind of magical source could surge out of you. Wild magic. So. That's what us wizards call it, anyway. You'll have to be careful then, I guess, eh? Can I stop this? Um, yeah, by dying. <laughs> Shut <it> up. <laughs> Got him. There <laughs> are some ways to stop it somewhat. If you found a different source of magic, such as through education, or through music, or through... Uh, through some kind of deity, you could 
use magic from that source instead of from the magic inside of you. Oh, okay. And that would stop the magic from surging. Do you have a staff by any chance? You're a wizard, right? I'm a wizard, yes. Do you have any sort of staff laying around? One you don't need, maybe? Uh, he's, he says... Please, we're, we're here to save the world. I suppose I could lend you one of my staffs. For a really long it's time. It's not magic. Technically, the staff itself is not magic. Mm-hmm. It's just where I have the magic come from when I use it okay. as a like focal point. Okay, that sounds lovely. And then he slowly walks towards the closet and he opens up the door and you see like ten different staffs. Ooh, do I get to pick one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, a, customization, so, a customization screen appears before you. <laughs> option one, option two, option three, option four, option I'm five. I'm gonna option. pick the one that looks the most like menacing. Like, it gets, menacing? like violent. Okay, uh, so... And he tells you that these were, these are almost all of the staffs that he accumulated over his long years as a wizard. Did you kill people for them? No, these are all ones that I made or found myself. I did not kill people for staffs. <laughs> he looks to the side, suddenly <laughs> sad. And, <laughs> and he sees you looking at a specific one. It's like a very, it's a black staff that's almost, uh, it kind, it's a black wooden staff that is really kind of curvy, so it goes. It, it's almost like a, well, I guess really knobbly. Okay. And at the top of it is a. Uh, it comes up to a sudden point at the very top, and the point is blood red, not with blood, just blood red in color. Okay. And he says, Ah, oh, yes, this one. This one has been through a lot. This was the one that got me through the war against humans. Ooh, okay. Um, well, I obviously won't take it without your permission, of course. As long as you treat it well, and once you get your own staff, return it, then you are free to use it. Okay. You're not going to end up returning it, dude. <laughs> I just know it now. I'm calling it. Uh, I'll gladly accept the staff, okay. but I'll, I'll take it very gently. Yeah. And I'll almost just kind of rub my hand, caress it, look at it. Yeah. Um, and then grab a cloth and clean it up. Okay. Yeah. You do see that there is like a place about three quarters of the, or two thirds of the way up the staff and one about a third of the way down the staff, where there's definitely definite wear. Like, that's the exact place the wizard would always hold it. Oh, yeah, okay. Besides that, it's uh, in really good condition. I'll put my hands over those two spots and twirl it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, Thank you. Is that going to help him, or...? (laughs) Damn well better. I mean, what's Uh, what's its purpose? Like, does it make you stronger, or... Will it help with your wild magic problem? It could help as a focus for your magic instead of it just coming from anywhere within you. So you can actually... Wave this bad boy around and... (laughs) Yes, in a sense, yes. Oh. Okay. You will still have the magic surge through you, usually. This will just help you control exactly where you're firing the magic from and at. All right, well, let me give it a whirl. And I'll go and I'll just point it uh, at the door. Okay. And I'll, I'll, I'll use my firebolt. <laughs> cantrip. Can't, just a cantrip? Yeah, just okay. a cantrip. And see if I can make it fire from the staff. Yeah, so the firebolt just goes straight. You, you feel it in the very handle of the staff at first. You feel it get warm and then it just shoots out at the door. Okay, and then the you just... <laughs> You hear Ella kind of scream and <laughs> starts to run towards the door <laughs> oh, with like uh, a bucket of water that she grabbed from the kitchen. Sorry, Ella. I I was just testing on my new weapon. Please, please be careful. All right, I'll be more. I'll, I'll aim different next time. I won't knock the door. <laughs> um, Ryan will just cast mending on the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go and I'll sit back at the table okay. and I'll just polish up the staff. Okay. Uh, is there anything specific anyone else wants to do right now? No. During I'm breakfast? Not, I want to fucking teleport, dudes. Okay. Do it, man. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so Ooh. you guys all finished breakfast and then the wizard says, you wanted to talk to me about some kind of dark magic. Ah, yes. Do you have a private room far away from these people? Yeah, so we can go to my study. <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone stay there. Okay, I'm going to talk to Ella, so don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to try and listen on their conversation. Okay. Oh, uh, he says to, to you, Ella? do you need this? Is this, like, this is a private conversation, so I, they might hear just because we're just at the door room next to them. He's like the can you cast silence. a little silencing bubble, maybe? Yes. So I can. Yeah, get smart. Yeah. Yes, dude. Do that. So he'll cast a silencing yeah, spell so that... No one can actually hear into the room. Is it like a, a uh, cone? Like a cone of silence? You got it. You get smart, you know? Oh! It comes down. Oh, okay, like, yeah, I yeah. can't hear what you're saying! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. These are a terrible mistake. So he does that and then asks you, what would you like to know? So, uh, I've been having a bit of a problem recently where I've seemed to black out from any room or place I'm sleeping in. I seem to... I'll black out and I'll wake up and far from wherever I was sleeping, like we're talking middle of a forest, top of a mountain, somewhere like that. And usually there's some wreck as if everything around me has been destroyed. It's very ashy or um, burnt. And I have I never have any clue what's going on. I feel very uneasy after. I feel a lot of pain sort of surging through my body. Uh, I hate it. I don't like it. I want it to go away. <laughs> Do you know when it started, or any reason of why it may have started? Why it may have started? Um, well, do I remember? You remember making a deal. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, well, I think this might have to do with how I saved my mother. Um, so there was what a, happened? I was in a town... Uh, not far from our farm and I my mother was very sick so my, I was tasked with going out to find a, a healer or a herbalist uh, but they weren't in town and when I couldn't find them I had nothing left but to return home so as I did I was stopped at the edge uh, by a, a horned man a horned uh, very dark man, uh, pale red skin. His eyes were as black as night, um, and his horns very, very big. Um, he said that he could help my mother if I gave him something in return. Um, I signed a contract, um, and when I returned home, my mother was fine. But then I, I wasn't. I went through these terrible dreams and nightmares of agonizing pain and torture from many of these similar people around me. How long is the lease? Like one, two years? <laughs> Tony, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You you can leave. Okay. Stand up. I'm about to head out. That's all the time I have. <laughs> you I have can't to go play animals. Fucking <laughs> joke. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, it <laughs> seems like you have made a deal with either a demon or a devil. I'd wage my bet on a demon. So high interest rates on them. <laughs> oh my Christ! Let's all let him do his thing. <laughs> Fuck. So with deals with demons, there are only four ways to actually properly end a contract. <clears throat> The first is to complete, completely fulfill the terms of the contract. That's out of the question. I don't know what he has in plan for me, but it's definitely not good. Okay. The second is you kill the demon that you dealed with. I need to find him, but that's more doable. I would love to do that. The next is to die and be revived after that. Although I don't know how much I like that one. Yeah, plus, if you die, the demon may get your soul. Just come back as a revenant. 
So exactly. you're telling me if I die, there's a chance he's going to snatch my soul? Yes. All right. So, so far, dying is out of the question and uh, letting this happen and just run its course is out of the question. So I yeah. got to... I gotta kill him. There's one other choice, and it is to have Wish cast by a dark magic user who is evil. Which seems very problematic. Can you by chance anyway be evil within the next couple of days? I cannot. <laughs> we could bring in some small children and just fucking kill them, alright? <laughs> Your mom's out. Well, okay. Do you know this demon's this name? I don't. I only know if it looks. You could roll... I know he has uh, He has an S, it starts. You could roll another history or insight check to see if you remember. i give it a shot. Hold on, let me just dig deep in my mind. I'm just going to turn away from him and hold my head. <laughs> just one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh... <laughs> Bro, this is so important. <laughs> was it an S or was it a T? <laughs> I think it was S an looks A. Like a natural one. S course. looks a lot like a three. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So initially you thought it might start with an S, but you're starting to doubt that. You think it might have... You're, you honestly have no idea what his name could be. At you know, could this uh, really happen? <laughs> you know, Indar, it might actually not have been an S. Now I think about it, the alphabet's pretty big. <laughs> It could have very much been a T. There's like 27 letters. I'm kind of getting a D vibe, but it's not guaranteed. Okay. I have nothing. Just because if you do know the demon's name, it might help to give you more power over him. To know his name. Is there any way I could search? Is there like a book of fiends or or demons (laughs) that I could read? And maybe he's in there? It's possible there could be something like that in the depths. A demon yellow page. In the depths. Of course, everything has to go back to the depths. I'm so sick of the depths. That's only because of what that's where demons and devils Every time are. I go down there, I risk, like, losing my mind. Last time I went down there, something was calling to me. I almost went that way. I kept losing control. I, I don't like it. Can I send someone down there for me? Do you want to go? Well, no, what are, you, what are you doing with your days? What are you really doing What are your plans here? tomorrow? I, I am much too frail to go to the depths of my age. But your friends were saying, we're talking about going to the depths. Yeah, they always want to go there. Uh, all right, well, thank you for this information anyways. You're welcome. Um, it's provided great insight, too. At least I know how I can end it. At least I know it can end. Um... That does bring me some sort of hope. Uh, however, do you maybe have any sort of remedy or concoction for... I seem to, uh, every now and then, have these fits where I seem to lose control and gain this dark voice in my head. It starts making me do deeds I don't want to commit. Evil acts. Uh, I once... Uh, fought one of my party members in a shop over a necklace because of it. I feel like that may be due to the deal with the demon. So unfortunately, that may be part of whatever contract you signed or whatever deal you made. Okay. That maybe he ends up slowly turning your mind to evil of some kind or chaos. Okay, well, I appreciate everything you've done anyways, and thank you for your hospitality and the food, and uh, it's been wonderful staying here. Um, you be well now. Thanks. I wish you, you luck just, on your journey. <laughs> yeah, you just get us to where we need to go, and we'll, we'll make sure this doesn't go any further. Sure. Yes. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let your old frail body be able to live in peace. <laughs> Uh, so he'll he'll open the door and you guys can walk out and he'll announce you to everyone would everyone like to be transported now oh we're, you were wanting to talk to Ella about something yeah I was uh, going to talk to her as well okay. oh. Ella how long have you been studying under uh, under uh, I've been studying with him under him about five years now uh 
curious question here. You don't have any loners to give out, right? Of like old spell books you don't need anymore. I'm a little curious. I want to take a, a read. I'm a big fan of books. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I like to have all the books here just in case there's something that happens when he's in his coma or anything like that. So I'd like to keep them here. Well, uh, where are the books at? Just so we can look at them. Well, you, you can see them all right here. They're on all of these bookshelves around the room. Do you know where I can acquire my own, then? <clears throat> um, just different magic shops or other wizards who may be retiring or anything like that. Um, Maybe some library of some kind. Uh, I, what kind of what kind of books do they have? Uh, most of them are to do with every single type of magic. So whether it's evocation, divination, really anything. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to uh, steal one. Just okay. one of them. Uh, uh, as s- s- sneaky as possible. Okay. And I guess there are also some on history and the history of magic, the history of Caldania. Mm. History and... of magic. I'm gonna try to okay. take that one. Okay. Uh, so just roll a sleight of hand. She's standing with right there, bro. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Okay. So wait. Can I aid um, by distracting her? Yeah, I guess it would just be without disadvantage then. Okay. All right, I will okay. distract her by showing her my gun. Yeah, <laughs> I got the gun. <laughs> and I just like I I'm figuring out. it out, so I like I'm undo it, and I start showing her how yeah. it works. I'm like, apparently you put these uh, 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 musket balls inside, it and then it's oh, like I, I've powered. S- I've seen one of these before. You have? Yes. Uh, it, I. S- there was a, uh, a, what was the, what are they called? Uh, <laughs> there was a gif who I ran into in Eight, like, two years ago, who was carrying one of these. Oh, nice guy? A yes, GIF? very nice, yes. I think it's pronounced gif. Fuck oh you. <laughs> um, if I remember sorry. correctly, that gif we never met. He, he was probably no, stopped or dead or something, right? You never you met the, to. any oh. gif. I wrong. found this gun in Eight, actually, in a bandit's home. Oh, really? Yeah, with a bunch of other stolen goods. I don't think it's the same one. It doesn't look exactly the, like the same one, but I, it it is uh, a big coincidence that both were in Eola at some point. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, how'd what? you do? Yeah, while well, this is going on, yeah, I'm, yeah. Trying to, I'm I was just talking about for, the gun. I was just, I was just, just ready for a time to like roll, not interrupt. I didn't mean for it to turn into a conversation. <laughs> That's a nine plus. Whew. That no, it was a seven plus a two. So and I not. go to 13. Uh, so as she's talking with you, she uh, she sees you start to move and move closer to the bookshelf. Can I? And she's like, no, you're not stealing a, trying to steal a book, are you? Oh, no, I just wanted to look at this quick, if okay. you don't mind. Yeah, feel free to look, but okay. you're not keeping it. No, of course, I would never dream of it. Uh, I'm just going to, like, grab the, the same book. I'm just going to pick it up. I'm actually going to, like, just kind of... Okay. Like, twist through it and just give it a look. Okay, yeah, so this book goes over magic before even er- everyone sailed to Teltania, so it was it starts about stuff in old Teltania and talks about how a few certain spells were created, and it does tell about how, uh, fuck, what is his name? Uh, how the guy in Silsby, how his grandparents, Great grandparents actually created one of the reviving spells. Oh, sweet! The guy you killed in still speak. Yeah, Shavadaw. Thank you. Sweet. Um. Hmm. What can I do? Um. Hmm. What are you trying? Are you trying to like still steal it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> she caught you, dude. Give it up. Don't be like me and get kicked out of some dude's house in the depths. <laughs> Just give it up. Okay, I'm gonna... You do want to be transported to, to Eol, to right? Be friends with these people. Okay, wait. I got a question. Um, so... Uh, my destination dagger, I can throw yeah. it and teleport to it. Can I have it... Can I have the dagger teleport to me? No. No? He was gonna put... In the fucking book, and they just <laughs> yes, yeah. I 100% was going to. that would have been um, pretty slick. Thanks, I <laughs> thought I would try. Um, I'm gonna put the book after like kind of just like looking through it. I'm gonna put it back, and I'm just gonna like casually walk along and just like look at the d- other titles. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so like I said, there are just lots of books on the history of magic through Telthania, through Old Telthania, and then books about the spells themselves, books about the history of Telthania, and about divination, conjuration, about nature. There's a lot of them about nature. Nice. And just almost any book that you could actually hope to find. Sweet deal. Um... Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, I'm just gonna like kind of like uh pick up one or two, like just pick up a book and just like scroll through it. I'm not like I'm kind of um, I'm more or less doing it just to like look casual, <laughs> but I'm just like looking through just for fun. The one you just happened to pick up is actually written in gnomish. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I, I'm still so, <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> this upsets me. Um. I, I'm. I. What is it about, uh, bro? It's about no. <laughs> uh, it's about like the tinkering and pretty much like artificer type stuff. Sick. I'm like intrigued, but um, I'm a little annoyed that I could understand it. <laughs> <It's Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you also probably browsed through a couple other books that were in Elvish, so oh, and you weren't even able to understand that they're in Elvish. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! Fuck. What are you uh, reading there, buddy? Oh, I'm just reading, uh... Do I speak English? Nope. <laughs> um, I just, like, I close the book. Like, when he gets, you know, like, when he comes yeah. up, I just, like, close it really fast. And I'm like, oh, I'm just, like, looking through all these books. Some of them are in, uh, other languages, so I don't really understand them. And I just put that one back. Well, here's <laughs> one Elvish. You speak Elvish, don't you? Can you read this out to me? I don't speak Elvish. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do you actually not? Nope. Okay. I only speak common, draconic, primordial, dwarvish, and celestial. Do, uh, would I be in earshot of this conversation? Yeah, definitely. That's added. Come on. <laughs> and I go, uh... I... I don't really feel like uh, reading anything right now, so... <laughs> Insight check! <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Can I? Uh, yeah. Isn't it's, gonna be a, weird it's gonna be a high you... DC. Natural one. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't... Alright, that's fine. Didn't yeah. mean to pressure you. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Blaze, if you want, I could probably read that book for you. <laughs> Damn it. We have to leave you guys. Uh, <laughs> sure, read it out to me, buddy. <laughs> Okay, I'll take the book and I'll cast Comprehend Languages. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> read um, the text. Yeah, so you know it's Elvish, and you can also roll... Uh, oh, shit! Days. <laughs> Bruh. I'm okay. fine, yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the book, I'll open it up, and I'll, like, kind of uh, rub my eyes casting the spell. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll look at the text. Uh, this spell, this book is specifically about the how the elves created their first settlements in Old Helthania, and it is through a lot of magic and like magic weaving and um, not conjuration but uh, transmutation, I think. Uh, this book is nothing interesting. <laughs> Uh, just explains <laughs> elvish settlements how they built them uh some doodah with their magic oh wow if only i was interested in history that sounds amazing <laughs> it's not really it was a boring read i didn't uh, i got through the first couple of pages are there any books like uh just like <laughs> okay uh well first where's the old man and uh elena my god uh, he just came out of the room with fear yeah they're both in the yeah. room he asked right. us if we wanted to teleport yes yeah, i said yes to him. Yeah. Uh, I would love to teleport. Let's go. Wouldn't that be fun? Are there any books like sitting on like, a coffee table or something? You've already been caught. Uh, uh, the only one on the coffee table right now is Ella's note notebook. So what she's been taking notes in about Wish and the transformation and stuff like that. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't want to steal that. Uh... I don't know. Is she looking? Would I, would I be able to get away with it? She's so sus right now, dude. Yeah, she saw that you were trying to get you get you a book before. I, 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 I admire I, your fucking effort, though. <laughs> um, sick. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay right now. Okay, so the wizard will say again. Mm. So I transport all of you to Eol. Let's do it. 
I'm ready to go. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ask him. What is the? Uh, are there any sort of preparations we have to do before, or do we just kind of instantly teleport? Uh, you pretty much instantly trans teleport. Is there somewhere specific in Eol you'd like to go? Mm, I don't think I know. Maybe we, we should uh teleport just outside in case there's any uh. Jordana around. That's fair. That's a good idea. I also turn to Ella and I'm like, will you tend to our horses and carriage while we're gone? <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my best to remember can, that kind of uh, stuff. Also, well, I... Ruman will say, <laughs> I I think this is where where I... I can't remember if I did a voice for him, so I'm just know. going with this. I think this is where I, I leave you. Bro, Ryan you. and him didn't even get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible Ryan's fucking brother fucking, or whatever. Yeah, it's Duncan like, was supposed yeah. to talk to him and he just ignored him. <laughs> if anyone would like to chat with me or no. meet up again, I'll most likely no either choice. be in Ait or Igor. Uh, Ryan says, I, I'd love to talk to you next <laughs> time I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit busy lately. Sorry about that. <laughs> I got Irish instead of Scottish. <laughs> if, but we need to go save the kids. Oh, that's no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Scottish. <laughs> Scottish. Next time I'm down, I'll hit you up, Larry. <laughs> Onions have layers. <laughs> if you, oh, I changed the voice again. Just if, fucking. Yeah. Say. If he says if. You are going to go to the depths near Ait. I would like to come with mm. you, so please let me know if... We're not go. doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go upon your ventures, dude. If you tend to our horses, we'll definitely pick them up sometime soon. <laughs> I just, what am I doing? Are Which... there any of your magic items that you found from Mr. Mithers that uh, you'd oh. like to grab from the cart before you leave? We took uh, they're all in my bag of holding. Oh, okay. Yeah, I put Are them they? on the bag of holding. Yeah. I okay. mean, that's why I grabbed a bag of holding. Because um, I, I had them all written down. We handed them out already. I'll tell you what, Ruman. Next time, <laughs> if you want to go to the depths with us, you send us a letter telling us why you think you're <laughs> right for this position. <laughs> we don't just accept anyone. In our group. <laughs> and we'll look it over, send you a confirmation letter if you're accepted. If you don't receive one by the time uh, you send it, uh, if you don't receive it, like, say, a month later, we're not interested. Okay, do you want to know why I'll want to join to go to the depth? Send, not send really. Send, <laughs> you don't understand the process, Ruben. We accept letters. You don't just tell us here. We have a mission to get on. I mean, if you were, like, someone's brother related by blood, maybe. <laughs> well, I can't imagine you would be, right? But, I mean, we only look the exact fucking same. <laughs> That's definitely right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna hate that. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go cast heat metal. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Let me just heat up the pan for you. <laughs> <laughs> that bacon wasn't quite crispy enough. Heat metal. <laughs> yeah, good, good talk. Let me mend the bacon. <laughs> oh, it got so crispy it broke. Mending. I are. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <laughs> well, then I think I'm going to head out then. Please do. Yes, do. I'll Remember. take good care of your carriage and your horses. Send a letter. I will. Okay. You just even know where we're going to be. Let, let That's fine. Send me a letter when you know you are going to the depths, and I'll send you one after that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Baron? <laughs> oh. And with that... I right. love you, brother! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take my inspiration now. Uh, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, and with that, Ryan will leave... Uh, I mean, <laughs> Ruman, <laughs> Ruman will leave, not Ryan. Bye. Ruman will leave, Ryan will leave. Just leaves with them. <laughs> God. It's not like they just leave talking, they just leave in silence, side by side. <laughs> Alright, that left me with more for questions. That, for that, I'll give the group one inspiration point. Oh. So, not one to each of you, one that you can use as a group. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'll put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and 
then with that, unless there's anything else you guys want to say. Nothing. I have stuff. Well, Tony. There's one no. thing I want to do before we talk. Tony, talking. we want to go I'm going to go over and stand near the book, casually, casually going to walk over, and as we're going to get teleported, I'm going to We have to be it. standing together. We can't just be spread out through yeah. a room. Well, I asked him if there was any preparations, and he just said he was going to do it. Basic teleportation. Stand in a circle and hold hands. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that canon? Um, you idiot. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, listen. Hey, listen. Um, <laughs> We're going to an abandoned city. All them shops undefended. They're well, saying if you also, want to book. <laughs> just to be clear, when we get teleported, we should probably already have weapons drawn just in case there's any immediate danger. These are my weapons, and I hold up my fists. <laughs> well, then you're ready to go. You should have your weapon drawn, though. I'll be ready to cast some sort of spell. You, as well, have your weapons out. Ryan will get heat metal ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've already prepared all my shitty spe- I have already prepared all my shitty spells. <laughs> None of which are healing. <laughs> He's got a hot seal it. <laughs> Teleport us, please. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, am, I, am I able to... Are they looking? Can I steal Oh my god, Tony. Ella is, like, taking all of this in just and taking notes and making sure to watch everything that happens. So. Right, fine, and Stop the wizard will ask effort. you which side of eel Don't. to to transport to. Um, just outside. Up, oh, fuck! I'm in Ryan voice. Mm. Um, just outside the the main gate. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, perhaps in some you know taller grass or behind a tree. Behind the first tree closest to the main gate. Can we fucking go, <laughs> please? <laughs> okay, sounds good. And then he'll. Cl- well, I don't actually know how transportation works, whether it's s- vocal or somatic, or somatic and vocal is the same thing, I think. No, somatic is science. Sure Casting like teleport? Yeah. Just uses jazz hands. Uh, <laughs> just use your creativity, whatever the hell it is. I think there's a catchphrase, is what you have to say. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom! <laughs> Instantaneous and it's vocal. Vocal? Okay, so he'll just say whatever uh, he needs to say for it, and clap his hands. Matt 20. And then you uh, guys appear... There's actually a table you have to roll on. I didn't realize that. Because oh. yeah. there's a oh, small yeah. chance uh, that you could be teleported to the false destination. Oh, uh, fuck. Slightly He's correct. Very associated with the area. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay, cool. Never mind then. All bueno. So with that, he claps his hands. And you guys appear at the front gates of Eol. And that's where we leave off on this episode of Nat 20. <laughs>